Hey folks, it's Mr. Kind Gable here again, and today I want to talk to you about the different angles that are common to welding when we arc weld. I've seen some students have some trouble with this. They get an angle that looks a little bit sharp, and their weld shows that. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do four different angles. I'm going to do four different stringers on here. We're going to do a 45 degree angle. Then we're going to do a 30 degree angle, a 10 degree angle, and then I'm going to go across the spectrum and I'm going to do a really sharp, like a 60 degree angle, so you can see the difference of those welds. And that way you'll be able to self critique your own welds while you're welding. Let's get to work. We have four different angles we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do a 45 degree, then a 30 degree. A 10 degree, we're going to go all the way out to the other spectrum and do a 60 degree and make it really sharp. So here we go. 45 degree first. So I'm going to come down here, halfway between 0 and 90. I'm going to do my 45 degree. Okay, we got our 45 degree done. I'm gonna go ahead and cool that, chip the slag off, do the rest of the weld, and then we'll come back and look at them all. Okay, folks, so we got done with all our welds. We have our 45 up top, and then we did our 30, our 10, and then we have our 60 degree weld. And as we can see, the 60 degree points a little bit more back because our angle if we look at our angle this angle would have been very sharp pointing all that electrode all that metal would be pointing back this way we want it to go down into this base metal so uh, an angle this being the 10 degree this one at times um, is almost too much straight up and down so 30 is a good angle 45 is a great angle for just doing stringers. So if your weld looks like it's pointing backwards, that might be because your angle is too sharp. Okay folks, so as we saw, your angle really matters on how your weld is going to look. When you have a 45 degree angle, it's going to look nice and flat. The base metal is going to go down there. If you look at this weld, the 60 degree angle is really raised up because we're not putting all that weld straight down in the base metal. It's kind of backing up here. So not only is the appearance not as good, it's pointing back there. We're not putting that metal down on the base metal like we should. These other three, if you can see that, these other three lay a lot flatter because that well is going into the base metal. We're fusing those two metals together, the electrode metal and the base metal. We want complete fusion to take place, so in order for that to happen, we have to have a really good angle. This one is not the best, not a good angle. So now when you're welding, if you look at it and it's kind of raised up, and if it looks kind of pointy, you probably need to change your angle. 